hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different so i've just celebrated my seven year anniversary and my 10 year anniversary you will be thinking what 10 years that i've been together with my husband like the day we met and the reason we never forget the day is because we did actually plan to marry on the same day um and we did actually book to get married on the 2nd of november um, in Rochdale but obviously we moved here to Wolverhampton and um, I had to cancel the venue and that's what we did we cancelled the venue there was no point having a venue in Rochdale when we lived in Wolverhampton at the time so we cancelled the venue luckily we got all our money back because somebody else wanted that date thank god and we ended up booking um, the 9th of November because the 2nd of November had been taken where we wanted to get married Cut a long story short so we always know when our anniversary together is because our wedding anniversary is the week after on the same day so yeah so it's a double whammy so my husband we don't do we don't always do gifts for each other but every now and again we will just buy a little bit of something for each other um i got my husband a little henry hoover for his keyboard so he can just hoover his keyboard Normally I'd buy him beer, to be honest with you guys, like lots of beer, but I don't think he's drinking at the minute because we're kind of watching our figure or weight or whatever while we're in the COVID situation. So I have got quite a lot of things um, from different places. So you can call this my anniversary collective items. Some that you'll probably be interested in, some you won't, some of us will, some of us will because I did used to do beauty on my channel. so. There will be some that is interested in the pamper kit I got. Now, there is a few things in this box I've just put in there, which was a gift from a friend of mine, a friend that I've made. I've made a lot of friends actually through YouTube, but a friend that I've made and um, we talk quite often. There is a lot of people I talk, if not all the time, every now and again, we do keep in touch or we will message each other and so forth. So this lady, I think it was it might have been last year it was last year i had my operation last year and her little girl had her operation right about the same time i'm talking about lisa which was mad about i think it was mad about lisa and mad about beauty she's changed her name a few times she actually is the owner of box of paradise which is a pamper box i will put the details down below if you want to go and check out box of paradise she does do all kinds of pamper um from bath pampers shower pampers just pampers in general and i i'm one of these people who have chronic illness like debility deteriorating debilitating disability so i do like to have a pamper at least once a week if not twice a week so i just i think it helps with the mental health as well so my husband actually ordered me this box which is very different for Ben to order me something like that, unless I've asked for it. Like my illness and everything, I've always asked for it. Um, but yeah, he did this off his own back. He has done one before, way back, but it was all bath bombs that he got me. So it's this love and pamper box. Never heard of them at all. I did like look up to see, you know, what they did and what have you. This is an Amazon based um, seller through Amazon, which I should have known because Ben buys everything through Amazon. So it says handmade in England from natural ingredients and it's got www.loveandpamper.com. But if you go on to um, Amazon and you type that in, all their products will come up and you can choose different hampers and so forth. So this one is slightly different guys. It did have lots of packaging in it. You know, the little white polystyrene um, things. I put them all under the sink and like washed them away with sacks. So you thought it was hilarious that these things just melted into mush. So I did get rid of the packaging. I did get rid of the box, but I thought, do you know what? I'll show you guys. So it came with this card and it says, thank you from Love and Pamper. Pampering treats handmade in the UK using natural ingredients. Then at the back, it says happy, not happy. Um, I'm not happy because I can't actually see what it says. So it says, 
You being happy makes us very happy. If you are unsure how to express your newfound joy, then may we suggest these for you. Tell your friends and family. Share your experience by writing a review on Amazon. I'm yet to do, but I will. I haven't used any of the products yet, so I could just say, yeah, it's amazing on set, but I've not tried anything. So I'm gonna wait until I've tried it. And then it says, connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I have tried looking for them and I can't really find them, which is kind of strange. And then it says, not happy. Our friendly customer service will help put that smile back on your face. Here's how we connect. And it has support at loveandpamper.com. And then it has the website, which is um, www.loveandpamper.com slash support. And it says, for a full list of ingredients used on these products, visit our website. I have tried. Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. And then it says, visit our website and sign up to receive exclusive membership and discounts and offers. That I may have a look and see if I can find it again. But I've not had much luck finding it. But this was on Amazon. So that was the card I got. And I was like, ah. Oh. Now I'm just going to pull out a few things that was sent to me from Lisa. But I threw it in this box together because it, it pretty much came on the same day as my, my anniversary. And it was like, what good timing. She actually sent Zach a gift. So in this box, Ben had added this afterwards. And I'll talk about that as well because it's in Amazon. So this is what the box looks like. But I had all the white things in. So in the box, this is what it contains. So it contains a face mask, raspberry, and it's a clay mask in one of these little cups. And then ooh, it tells you everything on the side to the ingredients, what's in it. I won't imagine this is, it just says the best before and what's inside it, guys. Uh, I can't see anything. It just says working with green earth appeal, organic to plant a tree. I can't imagine this being um, like animal cruelty, so I reckon it'll be cruelty free. And then on the top of here, there is a little label. If you're lucky, you can get your hands on it, but it actually tells you underneath what to do. And then inside there's a little tub of your pink raspberry clay mask and what would look like a lollipop stick. The old lollipop sticks that you used to get when you were you used to want the ice cream man and get a tub of ice cream. So that was the first item. I've not tried it yet, guys. I'm not very good with clay masks and mud masks and everything like that. My skin doesn't appreciate mud masks and my skin oops. My skin doesn't actually appreciate any masks apart from the Elemis cleansing mask. My skin does like cleansing masks and cleansing creams, but it is I don't know with cheap masks, I just get really spotty and itchy and yeah it's not worth it then you get a bath tea bag raspberry cream tea for a warm and comforting bath full of berry goodness and it says wild olive it says it's vegan and cruelty free so there you go enjoy a luxury bath with the finest dead sea salts and fragrance with something something because they put a staple so you can't read it raspberries and oozing with honey goodness so that was the second item, which is really, it's really packed, like a proper packed tea bag. And it smells absolutely amazing, must I add. And then you get these two little strawberry bath melts. I can smell, I can smell both of them in the bag. This one smells very orangey, is it? It says mimosa and this one's strawberry daiquiri. So I think they're like drinks. But they smell absolutely amazing. Um, I have smashed it slightly because I've just dropped it on the floor like an idiot. Uh, but that was that. So I got that with this box as well. And then I got this Love and Pamper soap made from a natural ingredient. And it's patchouli rose. Well, you know I love a good rose scented stuff. Let me have a look. Whew, that is... <coughs> That's a bit of a weird mixture, that, uh, guys. And Koyazak. I can smell the patchouli which is all right, but mixed with rose, it's kind of a really weird scent. I don't know about that, I'm not sure about that, but it says gorgeous pink soap textured with rose hip tea with the unmistakable smell of, ah, patchouli and ylang ylang. It's ylang ylang that I'm not too sure on. These oils nourish your skin and will make your skin feel 
and smell irresistible and it tells you what's in there it says do not eat 100 vegan and cruelty free so that was that guys then i got a candle in a tin which is great for me because i just put it on my little bath tray and it smells yummy yummy to eat you could actually eat that and then last but not least there's a body scrub two body scrubs and it's the cafe spa body scrub strawberry and mocha frap combination of beneficial oil salt sugar seeds and robusta coffee to exfoliate and cleanse i do exfoliate my skin not my face don't like on my face and then it says enough for two full body scrubs two full body scrubs i do like just not my face uh 50 grams and there's two in there guys if i can remember yeah two not tried it yet not i will do so that was that in that box guys so you got your candle your exfoliator your face cream your tea bag your little bath melts and your soap and i thought that was absolutely amazing now ben also grabbed me this to go inside it afterwards and this is the moroccan oil weightless hydrating hair mask oh my god i love this there is another one it's not arrived yet there's two different types one's for dry this one this one's for fine dry hair and there's one that's color protective hair which is for me as well um 75 mil you don't need a lot i have opened it i have used it smells absolutely amazing all you need is a tiny little ball of it in the palm of your hand rub it in and just mix it through your hair towel towel wet hair guys not completely dry but not completely wet it's just towel dried hair and just give it a whole run my hair i've washed my hair on sunday it is now thursday my hair feels so goddamn soft that has something to do with it and the fact that lisa put me a moroccan oil in i have got another one of these coming but i haven't had it yet so while i'm waiting i'm just been using lisa's and you only need a tiny bit I'm not going to do what I did last time, which was tip it upside down by accident and it all leaked out. But I'm so grateful for that, Lisa. Thank you so, so much. You don't know how much I love this stuff. This is a 25 mil one. I think the one I've got is a 50 mil or a 75 mil, but it, it's quite expensive. But this and my hair go really well together. They're a really nice combination. They love each other, let's put it that way. Just not the price tag. But I can honestly hand on heart say moroccan oil for me has been amazing i am going to get the shampoo and conditioner and i'm going to do a whole week of testing out just the moroccan oil products on my hair and see if it makes any difference she also put in this body shop strawberry and i'm so glad she did body butter i have dug into it but if you can see them little fingers are not mine i do have one of these or i did have one of these upstairs but zach has dipped his fingers into it that much time he loves it puts it all over his body but he spotted me with this and he went you got more i was like bug off this is mine uh, <laughs> so he did have a little dip of it and put it all around his arms so thank you for that lisa i've got to try and hide it from the boy because he just absolutely loves it and she also put me in the mind garden vampire's bride blend and i think these are yep velvet smooth prim, uh, crimson rose petals to invoice love lust passion release and for the telling of secrets oh that was really cute but that will go so well with what i've got here so i'm just gonna have a whole whole day of pampering i also picked up this on my travels to go with my pamper and it's the lacora hemp hand cream spoke to um, sparkling princess lynette about this because she's going to try the body one and tell me how it is i'm interested i've been using this and i absolutely love it my hands are still pretty dry but my hands are always cold because paralysis and, and circulation but i think i will go back and get the body cream and see how that is and the face oil the other face oil this is aldi guys by the way so really reasonable while i was in aldi right they were a pound but i picked up these two guys so this is the orange spice candle i do like aldi's small candles they burn for quite a while but mm, this one's christmas in a jar this one's orange spice as you can see from the picture there was four in total they're 2.99 each which i think are completely inexpensive they had the blue one to this and i think they had another a red one which was another fruit flavored one but based around christmas this one's called starlight mm. Mm. 
this one's my favourite. This one is a bit like um, baby powder, if you want to, if you want to call it. Yeah, a bit like baby powder. These are all cruelty free as well, guys. And for two ninety nine, you can't not beat them. I actually went into Aldi to look for the Squishmallows for Zach because he wants them for Christmas. I'm not finding them anywhere. So if anybody does find the gingerbread and the penguin, please contact me and let me know because I have a little boy who really wants them. I want the penguin. He wants the gingerbread one. My granddaughter actually wants them as well. But if I can't find them, it's, it's getting impossible to buy everybody them. Quickly moving on, I got this bundle as well. Now, I'm all for shout outs and everything, guys, but my husband hasn't given me the information for the cup. He doesn't feel like it needs a shout out because communication was nil, waited way over the time that he said he should have waited. It did advertise as a UK shop on Etsy. Turns out it was somewhere from Russia or Germany or something, but we waited a very long time. Anniversary had been and gone over a week and a half. So yeah, so he's not happy about that. But this is the cup that did come from Etsy. No information, no information sheet, nothing. So I don't know nothing, guys. I just know that it was on Etsy. And it just says black beverage mug. So as you can tell, it's, it's, it's the happy Halloween it's got a little bit of dust on it and it's the happy halloween and it's the sam from the trick or treat cup so as you can see it does say happy halloween but our anniversary is in november but he wanted to get me a whole matching set of sam and i understand why he's done that now he won't tell me how much this cup was but i reckon it was probably around the 12 15 pound mark if not more i don't know what he paid for shipping we're looking at the box it says dhl package ship date so it was shipped on the 11th guys of the 6th 6th 11th of the 6th january february march april may june no that can't be right you want to have ordered this in june i don't know what's happened there guys it says the 6th so i, I don't know i don't know what they've done there and it says here, Dusche Post, Portland, Frankfurt. So it's come from Frankfurt, guys. So, but Ben said it, there was no information about that. So, yeah, there you go. So that's the cup that I got, which I absolutely love. I've not drank out of it yet. I am going to pull the sticker off it and um, wash it and preferably have a drink out of it. I am torn between cups at the minute, guys. I've got the, the Poundland cups that I got and then I've got my Jack Skeleton cup. That i've got he also got me this he said this was from etsy but he can't he can't find the the link for it so the lady i don't know i can't give you any information on this one guys but i can on this one so this was just a pin badge that he just was browsing through etsy and he, he seen it and he said that i my my may have sent him the link so if i find the link guys i'll put it in the link box but it's an actual picture like photo on photographic paper of sam with the lolly and then the pin badge here which i absolutely love and then you could just frame this as well guys a little gothy frame you could i don't know if you do frames that size to be honest with you but if you can find a frame frame it i know i probably will and i'm going to put that on my jacket guys i'll try and take a picture or insert a picture of what it'll all look like once i put the badge on and then i put this on so yay now this is from um, etsy as well She's got the information on here. Now, I was recommended this shop from Carol. And she, Carol is a, a and she's not a YouTuber. She's a viewer and, we, you know, we've become friends and so forth. And she said, you know, why don't you go and try this business out? Because she knew I was looking for patches. And this is from www.zombunnydesigns.co.uk. I do know that... Um, Zombunny designs are actually on the alternative market for November. Hopefully, I get this on before November. If not, I've just completely just cocked it up. But <laughs> if not, 27th, 28th November, 7 pm to half 11 pm at night, alternative market. Go and mark yourself as going. I know that this lady will be there. She's a local lady to me, so she don't live that far away from me, which is really nice to know. I'm going to knock at her door and see what the patch is she's got. But then got me this one. So she says, put this patch on. And it says, made with uh, Nativa, bio-based. 
which is really, really good to know about as well. So it's, it's biodegradable and it's recyclable as well. So it says jeans, jackets, bags, cushions, blankets, jumpers, shoes, hats, anything you damn well want. And it says facebook.com slash designs www.etsy.com slash shop slash Zombunny Designs and Instagram at Zombunny Designs, all one word. And then obviously www.zombunnydesigns.co.uk. This is her logo, so you get to see. And this is an iron on patch. It, I think it was £5 for the sew on, £5.50 for the iron on. I do remember because I'm the one who showed this to Ben and obviously he went ahead and bought it me. So that is it guys. Sam Trick or Treat Little Bundle. There is another item that came with this but that will be in a separate video because I've already done it. There you go. Alright guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Bit of a weird one, bit of a mixed one but I thought, what the hell. If I can get a couple of Etsy shops in there and I'm throw a little Amazon in there and give a two, two couple of shout outs, then why not? All right, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.